Hello, thank you for joining Gaming for Fish today. We are going to play Empires of the Undergrowth today. Doing the tutorial to start it out and check out this great game. Uh, dig out some tiles. Okay, dig out 12 tiles. So we got our amazing queen ant right there, ready to start her new home. As a worker ant available to help out. Um, as she builds out her amazing kingdom. Okay, so we dug out 12 tiles. Build a black ant soldier tile in the excavated area. Okay, starting that out. Make sure we get those soldier ants so that we can hunt down the food on the screen there. Those little green circles and question marks and red exclamation mark. We are going to need them to fight for food and provide for queen and her other ants egg will okay good dig out some food okay so now here we have to go collect some food all right so we got maxed out food Dig out a room near the queen and build seven food chamber tiles. So we are full on food. Definitely don't want to collect food and just waste it. We want to be able to store it and make sure that we have food available for when we have other brood that we need to hatch. Even though you built two soldier tiles, you only have enough food left. So that's why we need food. Um, and we don't want to be irresponsible. Like I said, collect food or attack attack other insects for food and waste it um, not responsible so we want to make sure that we have enough storage space here we go attacking okay simple enough one soldier ant to take care of those all right so there we go so we just mark it and just Plant the pheromone, make sure that they find their way. Um, this is going to be a bigger attack. There's something with the red exclamation mark, which means a uh, bigger insect to battle. The ants must fight. The ants must fight, okay. Alright, so that wasn't too difficult. The larvae of the devil's coach horse will attack ants on sight. They deal medium damage and bite fast. Okay, so normally you want at least uh, enough ants to take on something of a larger size. That one wasn't too bad. You know, this is the tutorial, the intro. So that uh, initial attack wasn't too bad. So try to keep some worker ants in the nest. Okay, this is the nest group. Soldiers can only fight and collect food. Here are some more pheromone groups. Pressing this prevents the ants in the group from gathering food. Usually best to leave it on. I want them to gather food. And the pressing this prevents the ants in the group from attacking enemies. It's usually best to leave it on. So, wow, that is amazing. Move the camera left and right. So, our opportunities to find more food and expand out has grown. Yep, you can see there's more food up there. So green question mark. Uh, normally a simple food source, easy to collect. Um, not gonna give us a lot of problems. So not too difficult. Exclamation marks, of course, um, a little more difficult. And if they get, um, we got four right there and two there. So those are gonna be more of the difficult. It shouldn't be too bad with how many. Uh, we got, in this one group right here, we have 10 uh, soldier ants. So we should be fine with that, uh, no problem. Again, we wanna make sure that we have enough food storage space to collect food um, if we're not ready to use it. And we don't wanna waste all of our food all the time because we need it to hatch brood. So. Um, if it's not available and you get attacked and you get hurt or your ant dies, then you can't grow new or you can't hatch new 
ants. But you don't have food, so that's an important uh, item to keep is at least some food storage um, if you're going to start attacking larger insects or at some point animals. Making sure that we have enough food available to replenish our population. The ants must defend themselves. Must defend themselves. Okay. Not too bad, I'll make an easy work of it. Uh, I don't think we lost a single one, so we still have 10, yep. Eliminate the beetles, 5 to 12. Okay, so we are searching around here. Um, they're gonna stick around wherever that pheromone marker is. Um, they're gonna kinda hang around there, so move that um, if you don't want them to you know, stay in one place. Queen brood chamber, ants 101, larvae 101, storage 51 and 55. So. Looks like we're doing good. Just need to eliminate some more beetles, 5 and 12, to uh, mark off the next progress bar. That's good. Lots of food down there. Like some food, we need some food to we want to hatch more brood and grow out our nest. We don't have enough food to build that tile, okay? 61, so we're collecting food. 71, okay, it's going up. So let's expand out here and go attack some more. Be some beetles down here, kind of build up to our uh, eliminating the 12 beetles so that we can collect that. And I believe finish probably our objectives and scenario for this round. The ants will fight to the death. The ants will fight to the death. They will. There's only three of them there, so not too difficult for those ants. As you can see, as a group there, pretty powerful. We did lose an ant. At least one, maybe is it two? Maybe I think we lost these one. Might have lost two. But we made quick work of those beetles. And let's see, we have four more to go. So we need to uh, kill four more beetles. For the colony. Doing well, doing well. This is good. There are beetles up there. What is there? Four right there, so that's perfect. So there's four up, and we have uh, 13 out of 14, so we have 14. I don't know if there's enough food to hatch that 14th one, but uh, 13 is plenty. We'll be fine. Took on three last time and I think two passed away or one. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we have a total of 14. Lost a couple. Okay, so we did lose a couple, you know, they're perishing a little bit, but it's pretty simple for the most part of 14 of them. We have Majestic Queen Ant. So proud of her colony and her family that she's built. That is fantastic. She did it. They did excellent. Um, we are victorious. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Let us know if you like these uh, videos of these undergrowth. Thanks for watching.